So consistency is something that's a very important uh, concept when we're dealing with DynamoDB because when data is written to the database, it has to then copy it to those other regions. And so if someone was reading from region C, when an update was occurring, there is that uh, uh, there's that chance that you're reading it before it has the opportunity to write it, okay? And so DynamoDB gives us a couple options to uh, give us choices on our use case, and we'll go through the two. And so the first one is eventual consistent reads, which is the default functionality. And the idea here is when copies are being updated, it is possible for you to read and be returned inconsistent uh, copy, okay? But the trade-off here is the reads are fast, but there's no guarantee of consistency. All copies of data eventually will become uh, generally consistent within a second, okay? So the, here the, the trade-off is that, you know, you could be reading it before it's updated, uh, but generally it will be up to date. So you have to decide whether that's the trade-off you want. That's the default option. The other one is st strongly consistent reads, okay? And this is when all copies are being updated and you attempt to read it. It will not return a result until all copies are consistent. You have a guarantee of consistency, but the trade-off is higher latency, so slower reads. But that, the, the reads are going to be as slow as a second because all copies of data will be consistent within a second. So if you can wait up to a second in the case of a write, then that's what you'll have to do um, for eventual consistent reads. If you can tolerate something being consistent because it's not important, then those are your two options.